Merhaba, blessings. Happy full moon, partial lunar eclipse in the sign of Pisces. This full moon is happening in the wee hours of Wednesday morning, Tuesday evening, depending on where you are. I'll actually post the exact times in the notes below. So welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Aria. I am an ordained Magdalene priestess, a Reiki master energy and sound healer. I do want to preface this. So I work with the cycles in a very different way. I work with it in more of the Kabbalistic, biblical astrology, the, the way that the cycles of the moon of the earth would have been followed in the times of Yeshua and Mary Magdalene as they were students and priests and priestesses of the Chokhmah traditions, of the Sufianic, the mystical traditions of that time, which later evolved into what in northern Spain became the Kabbalists, it became the Kabbalistic schools where the Sohar, which is one of the primary texts, were um, actually written down in northern Spain. These mystical traditions of the cycles of the moon, they really allow us to understand the energies that we are working with. And why do we need to understand the energies that we're working with? It's important to understand the energies that are affecting us so that we know how we can interact with them, so that we know how we can utilize them to elevate our soul, to elevate our expression, the embodiment of our soul, of our light. This is ascension. And this is what the great teachers, the mystics, Mary Magdalene, Mother Mary, Grandmother Anna, Yeshua, this is what they taught. They taught ascension. If you go through and you read the Gospel of Mary Magdalene, you will see how everything she talks about is about ascension, about the purification of the physical vessel of your emotional, spiritual bodies. So you can connect with, receive, align with the higher frequencies, embody them. And it's not just about being the vessel and embodying it. There's that secondary aspect, the aspect of service, of mission, of sharing the light, of sharing your gifts. So why am I talking about the sharing of the gifts and the mystical characteristics? Because this moon is in Pisces. And Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac. Well, the Western zodiac. It's actually somewhere in the middle if we go by the Kabbalistic, um, the biblical astrology where their year began with the Virgo portal and ended with the Leo portal. But for the sakes of merging the ancient traditions with the way that we express the world now in modern times, Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac. And Pisces is that in-between. Pisces rules the 12th house and the 12th house is everything that has to do with your psyche, your subconscious, the, the deep seated stuff that is going on under the surface. It's also the space of infinite unity. During this lunation, the moon is conjunct Neptune and Neptune is the planet that represents this frequency of the soul unencumbered unencumbered by the body, the soul in its infinite oneness where it is one with the divine. So in this space of this human body, of this human expression, you are at the same time while you're having this human expression, this physical incarnation, you are also one with the divine. So there is no separation. At any point in time, you can access the infinite wisdom, the infinite abundance, the infinite healing, the infinite teachings of the divine realms. This full moon is happening at 27 degrees. Seven is the number of initiation and it is a very mystical number deeply associated with the divine feminine, with Mary Magdalene, with deeper levels of awakening, of consciousness, of expansion, of abundance, of beauty, of spiritual beauty. Sun, 
which is in Virgo, is in a beautiful grand trine with Pluto and Uranus. So why is this important? Because these are the planets that are shaking things up. Uranus is the great awakener. Uranus, Pluto, is all about the, the depths, understanding the deep recesses of our relationship with power, our relationship with transformation, our relationship with alchemy. And alchemy is simply the transformation of a thing, an emotion, from one state to another. So it's all about the mysteries. And what mysteries are we talking about? We're talking about the mysteries of you understanding the light of your soul, the wisdom that you came here to embody, and really being able to cast off the layers of ego in order to truly reveal your light, to stand in your power and sovereignty, and to know that you are infinite oneness. And from that infinite oneness, we express love, beauty, abundance. And we not only express it, but because we embody these frequencies, we attract them. So we can attract all of that we desire, but it's not an egoic desire because remember, Pisces isn't about, while Virgo is about the physical experience and the body and purity and purification, Pisces has the tendency to be living in the dream world, completely connected to everything in the intuition and ungrounded. So during full moons, what we do is we unify these two polarities of Virgo and Pisces in this case. Full moons bring illumination. Eclipses bring profound, deep transformation, quick change. So if you want to elevate your experience, your human expression, the embodiment of your soul, of your light, and anchor it on earth. I know Pisces is kind of afraid of this because Pisces is afraid of being grounded and anchored because they feel they will lose their cosmic unity in that grounding. But it will actually bring more power and more expansion. When I speak of power, we have a, an interesting relationship with it because so many abuse their power. So I want to share this wisdom about power. Power isn't something you hold over anything or anyone but yourself. True power comes from being grounded in your heart, from being centered in your oneness, in your infinite expansion, while at the same time having the wisdom and the discernment to take steps that are needed in the physical realm. So there is no separation. And in that knowing that there is no separation, you can't abuse your power because you know that every being is sovereign and every being is an expression of the divine. So you cannot, if you harm another being, you're harming yourself because there is no separation. We are all part of these infinite cosmic oneness, the divine Allah, Abun, whatever we call God, Goddess, whatever we call this frequency that is creation, ultimately, there is no separation. So Pisces rules the feet because Pisces needs to ground. If Pisces, if a Pisces doesn't ground, they will have escapist tendencies. So they will either escape with drugs, with alcohol, with sex. Oops, can't say that on YouTube. You know what I mean. <laughs> they will they will escape. They will find a way to not be in the body. But being in the body is the greatest gift being able to express your infinite light and your infinite creation during this full moon, knowing how to do that. This is the gift that's being offered to us at this time with this current lunar cycle while we are in the cycle of purification of Virgo. So. Shlama to Inana Nukra. Shlama is peace, 
but it's not just peace. Peace is a more simplistic definition, or well, translation, I should say. It is more oneness, unity, shlama. And inana nukra is I am the light. The light of Allah, the light of the divine, the light of creation. This is your true essence. Right hand over the heart, left hand over the womb space. Breathing into the waters of your yesod, of your womb space. Because when we connect to the yesod, we're connecting to the cosmic womb of the divine, of creation. So let's get started. Long, deep breathing. Long, deep breathing.
take a deep inhale. Don't forget to drink lots of water and pay attention to your dreams as during this lunation, they're quite prophetic. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below, let me know how you're receiving these energies. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Have a blessed full moon. Ahava.